I'm here in Guildford today at National Highways offices and I'm here with Deirdre O'Reilly who's Head of Customer Insight and Behaviour Change. Deirdre, thanks for talking to us today. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about your role and the part Insight plays in National Highways approach to road safety. My role is about using insights, be it market research, social research or behavioural science, to really help us understand who our customers are, what they think, feel and do. Because actually what National Highways is all about is connecting the country. Now we're here to talk about a new resource that's been created specifically aimed at uh, engaging fleet operators and those who drive for them. So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about the insight that's led you to want to engage with that particular group. Freight and professional drivers make up a huge proportion of people using our network and they are incredibly important, they are key workers in the economy. And so one of the things that we felt and we know through behavioural science is that the way to influence people is through a number of areas and one of them is through their employers. So Project Edward is all about showcasing initiatives that support the safe system, which means they're evidence-led. What research has been done to underp underpin this particular initiative? So we worked with Ipsos to really understand what the issues were and what the behaviours were that needed to be changed, and particularly habitual behaviours, for example, around vehicle checks. And they went out and spoke to the actual drivers themselves and to the fleet operators and to the organisations to see how they could do, get this to become more habitual and actually what were the barriers to making that behaviour um, real and sustaining that behaviour over time. So the first part of this resource is aimed at helping fleet operators understand in quite general terms how to implement uh, something at work that will drive behaviour change uh, of some form with their driving population. So can you tell us a little bit more about how that resource was developed? So what it did was look at how we can introduce um, road safety initiatives and taking that holistic approach. And it talked very much about what we call the COMB approach, and that's really a very simple framework. And it stands for capability, opportunity and motivation. And you need all three of these for um, initiatives to really work. So that's a really great uh, resource there. There's lots of good knowledge to show uh, fleet operators how to engage with their drivers and uh, and drive behaviour change. Now we mentioned a specific instance earlier around trying to improve vehicle checking regimes within businesses so that's the second part of the resource. Could you tell us a little bit about how you came up with that resource? Have, have you piloted it? Has it been shown to work? It's really important to do these um, checks and to understand first and foremost what do the organisations want to change? And they did come up with this idea that would really like their employees to do more vehicle checks, particularly of shared vehicles. And so, and how to make that more habitual, more embedded in their everyday experience. And it's quite difficult and challenging to change behaviours. But actually it was more the processes around that, getting senior management buy-in, getting people to do the checks, giving them the time to do the checks um, became very important. Deirdre, thank you so much for your time today and showing us how important insight is into development of effective resources. Um, those resources have been launched today and they're all going to be available for download on the Driving for Better Business website. So if you run a business or you're a fleet operator or fleet manager, go to drivingforbetterbusiness.com and you'll be able to access all of those resources.